71 years ago. On a bright, cloudless morning, death fell from the sky, and the world was changed. A flash of light, a wall of fire, destroyed the city, and demonstrated that mankind possessed the means to destroy itself. Why do we come to this place, to Hiroshima? We come to ponder a terrible force unleashed in a not so distant past. We come to mourn the dead, including over a hundred thousand Japanese men, women and children, thousands of Koreans, a dead and American held prisoner. Their souls speak to us. They ask us to look in, to take stock of who we are and what we might become. It is not the fact of war that sets Hiroshima apart. And you to tell us that violent conflict appeared with the very first of our early ancestors, having learned to make blades from flint, spears from wood, use these tools not just for hunting, but again, is their own kind. On every continent, the history of civilization is filled with war, whether driven by scarcity of grain or hunger for gold, compelled by national fervor or religious steel, and pious of wisdom of war. People have been subjugated and liberated. And each judge, innocent of suffering, a countless hope, their names forgot my time. The world war that reached its root end in Hiroshima and Nagasaki was fought among the wealthiest and most powerful of nations. Their civilizations had given the world great cities and magnificent art. Their thinkers had advanced ideas of justice, and harmony, and truth. And yet, the world grew out of the same base instinct the domination or conquest that had caused conflict among the simplest tribes. An old pattern amplified by new capabilities and without new constraints. Hiroshima apart. Artifacts tell us that violent conflict appeared with the very first man, our early ancestors, 
having learned to make blades from flint, and spears from wood, use these tools not just for hunting, but again is their own kind. On every continent, the history of civilization is filled with war, whether driven by a scarcity of grain or hunger for gold, compelled by nationalist fervor or religious zeal. Empires have risen and fallen. Peoples have been subjugated and liberated. And at each juncture, innocents have suffered a kind of toll that names the God of my time. The world war that reached its brutal end in Hiroshima and Nagasaki was part among the wealthiest most powerful nations. Their civilizations have given the world great cities and magnificent art. Their thinkers had advanced ideas of justice and harmony and truth, and yet the world growled of the same base instinct for domination and conquest that had caused conflict among the simplest tribes. An old pattern amplified by new capabilities and without new constraints. Yeah.